Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please go back and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment and share my videos. And today we're going to do this lovely and beautiful small pouch. Now I've made this pouch with the help of a bubble stitch. This is a bubble stitch. And uh, I've started up from the bottom. So I have simply made the double crochets here for first, second, third and fourth row. So the fourth row will go um, straight as double crochets. And then I've made this bubble stitch and um, I've, we have gone up to the top and uh, it looks like this. And now for this... Um, to close this pouch, uh, we have made this um, chains simply and we have inserted them into this uh, stitches and that's it. Um, the strains are done and uh, we can close up like this and it's it, it's secure. Uh, nothing is going to come out unless and until you will open it like this. So it's really nice and secure one. So that's it. Now let's begin. Now for this one, I'm using a red color and um, i've used my 4 mm of hook so it's a 4 mm of hook and this strand is a blend a, a mixture of acrylic and a cotton yarn it's a 50 percent of cotton and a 50 percent of acrylic you can use 100 percent cotton uh, you can use any other yarn you want but remember to use a cotton yarn because whenever you're using a cotton yarn it gives that uh, strength and support to your project if you're using an acrylic one it will not go that firm if you can see here uh, this one stands because this is with the cotton yarn so try to use a cotton yarn and that's it now to begin let's have our magic circle here so here is our magic circle and let's chain up three so it's one two and three and this three chains will count as our first double crochet now let's have a double crochet we are going to need for our round one we are going to need 12 double crochets and this first three chains is going to be counting as our first double crochet and this is our second double crochet so just yarn over insert your hook into your magic circle grab the yarn you're going to have three loops just yarn over and pull it through two loops only and yarn over and pull it through two loops only and that is your double crochet and you're gonna have here three double crochets and we're gonna need 12 double crochets in total so this is our four double crochet five six Ten, eleven, and twelve. So we are having our twelve double crochets here. Eleven double crochets and plus chain three. So it's going to be total twelve double crochets. Just pull your loop, secure it. Now insert your hook into the third chain here. So one, two, and three. This is my third chain. So I'm going to put my hook inside and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch and that's it. This is my 12 double crochet. Now chain up three again. One, two and three. And we're going to do two double crochets into the each stitch. So we are going to end up having 24 double crochets. So it's our first double crochet. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch and grab your yarn. And have a double crochet here so this is your two double crochets now into the into the second stitch we're going to do two double crochets so yarn over insert your hook and have a first double crochet and then your second double crochet so it's four double crochet together and we are going to do or 24 double crochets into this round so each stitch will have two double crochets and I'm gonna meet you at the end okay I have 20 double crochets here now 21 
22 and into this last stitch I'm gonna be 23 and 24 and I'm gonna put my hook into the third chain so one two and three so this is my third chain I'm gonna put my hook into that and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here so that's it my 24 double crochets are done and secured now let's have another time chain three for round three one two and three so for round three chain up three and do one so this one will count as our first double crochet and into the second stitch we're going to do another double crochet this one is going to count as our first double crochet our second double crochet will be into the second stitch so it's another double crochet and into the same stitch we're going to have another double crochet again we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch and then into the another next stitch we're going to have two double crochets together into that same stitch so it's one double crochet and two double crochets again one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the next stitch so it's going to be one double crochet and then two double crochets into the next stitch and into the next stitch we're going to have one double crochet and then two double crochets one double crochets and two double crochets and we're going to end up having 36 double crochets for this round three and i'm going to meet you at the end okay my 33 stitches are done and into the next stitch i'm going to do another double crochet so it's going to be 34 and into the next stitch the last stitch we're going to do two double crochets together so it's going to be 35 and 36 now again put your hook inside the third chain one two and three so i'm going to put my chain into the third chain and we'll make a slip stitch here and that's it our round three is done for round four chain up three again one two and three so this is going to be counting as our first double crochet and into the next stitch put your hook and do a double crochet here so it's one double crochet two double crochet and into the third stitch we are going to do two double crochets into the same stitch so it's one and two that's it so it's one double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochets into the same stitch it's four double crochets here again into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet and into the next stitch two double crochets into that same stitch so it's one and two and you're going to repeat this so it's going to be one double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochets one double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochets and we're going to end up having 48 double crochets on our round four and i'm going to meet you at the end okay i've done my 44 double crochets here so in the next stitch is going to be 45 double crochet into the next stitch 46 double crochet and into the last stitch i'm going to have my two double crochets so it's 47 and 48 and that's it our base is done i'm going to put my hook into the third chain so it's one two one two and three i'm going to make a slip stitch here and we'll tie up my work and that's it our four rounds are done at the end of round four we are going to have our 48 double crochets and that's it it's done now this is the front portion of our work and this is the 
back portion of our work now we are going to make our bubble stitch and to form the bubble stitch um, if we will work like this it will be forming up at the back side so it is important for us to turn our work like this so turn your work so your back portion will be in front of you so turn your work like this now chain up two here it's chain one and chain two so we have chained up two here now into the same stitch put your hook inside and make double crochet but do not finish the stitch so it's going to be your double crochet halfway down so it's going to you're going to have two loops on your hook again yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch and pull the yarn now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only so you're going to have three uh, loops here again do the same thing you're going to have four loops and for the last time do the same thing and you're going to have five loops on your stitch now you have to do this uh, a cluster of five double crochets halfway done so because we have done here two chains uh, you're gonna have for the very first stage you're gonna have this uh, five loops on your hook for the rest of the um, stitches you're gonna have six uh, loops on your hook now yarn over and pull it through all your loops so by doing this you're gonna finish up your work now insert your hook into the second stitch now this is my second stitch insert your hook into your second stitch grab the yarn and make a single crochet here and your bubble has been formed that's it now into the next stitch let's do it again now we are going to do five double crochets here halfway done and we're not gonna and at the end we're gonna um close our stitch so let's see yarn over and insert our hook and grab the yarn we're going to have three loops pull your yarn through two loops only so you're going to have two loops so it's our first double crochet and do exactly the same for our second double crochet the third double crochet and the fourth double crochet and the last time our fifth double crochet i'm going to have six loops here one two three four five and six six loops for first stitch you're gonna have five loops because we have chained up here uh, for the rest of the uh, stitches we're gonna have six loops and yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loops and tie up your work so it's gonna be like this and into the next stitch let's have single crochet and now after doing the single crochet just tie up your work a little bit so that will help in forming this uh, beautiful bubble now we can see that uh, this is the front portion as we have turned our work so this is the front portion and in the front portion we are forming up our bubbles so let's do it again yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull your yarn and pull your yarn through two loops first double crochet again do the same thing for second double crochet the same thing for third double crochet four and five and we're gonna have our six loops on our hook one two three four five six yarn over and pull it through all six loops and into the next stitch insert your hook and make a single crochet now remember after doing a single crochet just pull your work little bit your yarn little bit so that it will tighten up and it will form this bubbles here let's do it for the one more time yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops and pull your yarn through two loops only yarn over insert your hook grab your yarn and pull it through two loops only so it's two double crochets three four and now yarn over and pull your yarn through all six loops and into the next stitch make a single crochet 
that's it pull your yarn a little bit and your bubble is done and we're gonna do exactly same same thing for our rest of the stitches and i'm gonna meet you at the end so remember doing a five double crochets halfway done making a cluster of it and then pull your yarn through all six loops and then make a single crochet into the next stitch and little bit tie up your little bit pull your yarn to tie your your stitch and it will form a bubble okay now i am here at my last bubble stitch so just yarn over grab your yarn and make a cluster of four double crochets is two three four and five and i'm gonna have my six loops and i'm gonna yarn over and we'll pull it through all six loops and into this last stitch the 48 stitch i am gonna put my hook inside and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a single crochet here and we'll tighten up my work so that's it my first row for a bubble stitch is done and this is our row five because we have done double crochets here for our bottom and it's our it's our total of row four and this is our row five and at the end of row five um, I'm not gonna tie up my work because I'm not having any space here so I'm not gonna tie up my work on the 48th stitch I have already made my single crochet to tie up my this bubble and this is I'm gonna end up having a uh, 24 double crochets because we are having 48 stitches here so it's you're gonna have a uh, 24 bubble stitches on this round five now for round six we're gonna make a single crochet so for that single crochet i'm gonna insert my hook into that very first stitch now if you can see a, a v here this is a bigger v and next to that you can see a smaller v now this is the this v has been formed because we have made a cluster of double crochets of five double crochets and this is our single crochet so i'm gonna put my hook into this very first stitch so i'm gonna insert into that big v my, i'm gonna insert my hook into that and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a single crochet now you can see that i haven't tied up my work here and haven't made my chain one and then have started my next work if you want to do that you can do in that way as well but then you're gonna uh, end up having one raw here and that will might um disturb your project and you will have one raw here so i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna tie up my i'm gonna do um in a circular round now so if you are finding it difficult that which one will be your first stitch you can have your stitch marker here so grab your stitch marker put your stitch marker into this one and this is your first stitch for round six this is your first stitch and we are going to do 48 single crochets here so this is our first stitch our first single crochet and i'm going to insert my hook into the second stitch which is a smaller v and i'm going to grab my yarn and we'll make a single crochet here again and into this stitch as well a single crochet and into the next stitch a single crochet so every small and big v i'm gonna make a single crochet into that and i'm gonna end up having 48 single crochets here i'm gonna meet you at the end i have my 44 single crochets here into the next stitch 45 46 47 and this is 48 and end of my round six now we're going to repeat round five and six for another next 16 uh, rounds so let's repeat um, our round five here again now i'm going to take up this stitch marker this is my first stitch and into the first stitch i'm going to uh, start doing my double crochets now here i'm going to yarn over and will insert my hook into the stitch now remember uh, when we are starting up our round five we have chained up two here and then we have started because that was the starting point of our um, this bubble stitch now as we have already started our bubble stitch i'm not gonna chain up two 
if you want to chain up two and you want to do in that way by chaining up two and then doing uh, four double crochets and then tying it up it's completely fine you can do it that way as well i'm doing this way so i'm i'm gonna start directly with the double crochets so it's first double crochet and it is halfway done my first double crochet second double crochet third four and five i'm gonna have my six loops here if you are chaining up here then you will have your five loops now yarn over and grab your yarn through all six loops and that's it into the next stitch we are gonna have our single crochet so we are repeating our round five here if you are finding it difficult which one will be your first stitch you can just put your stitch marker into your first stitch so you will remember which is your first stitch again into the next stitch yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch grab your yarn pull it through two loops only again yarn over and grab your yarn you're gonna have four loops pull it through two loops only again do the same thing for our third double crochet and this is our four and our five double crochet we're gonna have our six loops yarn over and pull it through all six loops into the next stitch grab your yarn and make a single crochet and tie up your work and that's it we are forming up our bubbles so we're gonna repeat round five and round six for another 16 rows and i'm gonna meet you at the end of 16 rows now remember we have done our four rows here uh, as our double crochets and then uh, we're gonna have um, 18 more uh, rows for this double stitches so this is five and six we are gonna repeat for another next 16 times for another next 16 row and um, that's it i'm gonna meet you at the end of um our this whole project i have made if you can see this is our four rounds for uh, double crochets and i have started up my work from here and this is total of 18 rows so we have already done our two rows here we are going to do another 16 rows here and i'm going to meet you at the end okay so i have done my 18th row this is my 18th row for this bubble stitch i'm not counting the bottom part the bottom part has our four rows and then the 18 so in total it's 22 rows so i am at the last one the 18th one and uh, with the uh, with the bubble stitch uh, if you are counting it as a whole um, i'm at the last one of the 22nd one and uh, this is my 45 46 47 and 48 my last single crochet and it's done this was my first uh, stitch which i have made with this st stitch marker so let me take this off and that's it our bag is almost done now i'm gonna cut the yarn And don't worry if you have a little bit of uneven surface here. It's going to happen because, uh, as I said bef said it before, that I haven't, you know, um, started up with the new row each time. I have uh, made this in a circular motion so that uh, uh, no flows would come up here. No mess up would come up here. No strengths of lines. Everything will be fine and as it is. So that's the reason it's been happening don't worry we can tie up uh this one so it will be uh gone it will not be look i'm not i'm not gonna tie up this uh right now for this strands this ones we are gonna chain up here so i'm gonna take my white yarn you can take any color you want i'm gonna chain up here so let's have a slip knot And I'm going to chain up 90 here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five and go ahead and chain up 90 nine zero and i'm gonna meet you i'm using 4mm the same um hook the 4mm of hook it's 85 86 87 88 89 and 90 and that's it i've done my 90 chains here now let's cut the yarn tie up your work you're gonna need two strands of um chains here so i have my two chains here you're gonna need two of them so uh, each one will go as 90 chains so 90 chains and 90 chains just like this again leave these two bubbles and insert your needle here and do it this way again do the same leave this two insert your needle into this hole leave these two bubbles just like this leave this first portion take your another chain now for the second one you can see that um, the loose ends are here one two three four and five so just take the third one one two and one two the middle one the third one and insert your uh, needle into this um, space but be careful because you already have another one so just be careful that you are not inserting your needle into the first chain so just be careful if you can see here it's all right now you're doing it for the second time just be a little bit careful and here yeah, exactly the same as we have done before and here you go it is done as you can see i have put both the strands um at the same in into the same bubble these bubbles are out similarly i have done it here like this and that's it it's done let's now what you can do is as you have this loose ends here for all these four you can cut them into a same size That's it so all of them are of same size and let's weave in the loose ends to weave in the loose ends i'm gonna turn my work simply just put it inside like this And that's it no one is gonna understand that you have um you haven't you have something in there
that's it. I read my ends in. And it's done. The beautiful, nice bubble stitch pouch is ready to use. You can do it this way. Similarly, this one as well. You can tie up this one like this. And it's done. And I hope you have liked my today's tutorial video. And if you have liked this, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you into the next video. Bye.